All right, time to check in once again with Storm Tracker 4 meteorologist Shay Sorensen tracking this very chilly weather. I mean, I was completely bundled up head to toe today, Shay. I mean, it was very cold leaving the home today. Yeah, we had a storm tracker for winter alert day. Uh, of course, that's still um, in effect. We have another cold start for tomorrow morning as well. So just keep that in mind. But here is a live view outside. Uh, this is from the Tucson Mountains looking towards Tucson, looking beautiful. Tons of blue sky out there. So it's going to get better as the rest of the day goes on. But it has been a brutal morning. And even right now, temperatures are still pretty cold. Most of us in the mid to upper 40s right now. So feeling pretty chilly out there to the south end east, mainly in the 30s and 40s, 36 for Wilcox, 39 in Pierce, 40 in Douglas right now, 45 in Nogales. Already in the low 50s, though, out towards Ajo, and that's where the warmest spots will get to, mainly low to mid 50s. So here's a look at the highs today, pushing to about 53 at the Tucson International Airport. Average high typically 66, so we're definitely colder than normal. Low 50s for Corona Day, Tucson and Vail, mid 50s up towards Avra Valley and Marana, maybe just upper 30s for Mount Lemon. Overnight tonight, still going to be very cold, but we are going to be a little bit warmer compared to what we were waking up to this morning. Still, though, most of us waking up near or below freezing tonight, so keep protecting those four Ps, people, pets, plants, and pipes. To the south and east, mainly in the 40s today, with lows tonight back in the teens and 20s. So, again, another cold start all across southeastern Arizona. We are tracking, though, more wind, rain, snow, and cold. Another winter storm is going to impact us Thursday afternoon and Thursday evening. It's a very similar setup to what we got on Sunday, so a quick shot at some valley rain, mountain snow, but the wind will pick up ahead of this system, so we could see some wind damage again. Gusts up to about 50 miles per hour can't be ruled out. Wet and icy roads, of course, going to be big impacts, and of course, you still got to keep protecting those four Ps because temperatures will get pretty frigid again by Friday morning. This is our next weather maker. It's going to pass by Thursday, bringing us a nice band of showers. We're expecting both valley rain, mountain snow, wind definitely picking up ahead of this system. But here's a look at how much we could pick up. This is through Thursday. Trace amounts to a tenth of an inch for the lightest spots, but places like Tucson to the south, north, and east could see about a tenth of an inch to a quarter of an inch, and some isolated spots could see up to a half inch of rainfall. This system also going to be pretty cold, so we are expecting the snow level to drop down to the valley floor again. Below 4,000 feet, especially east of Tucson, we could see a dusting to an inch. Here in Tucson, maybe some flurries again. Between five and 6,000 feet, places like Oracle and Bisbee could pick up an inch to three inches, and then above 6,000 feet, about three to six. The White Mountains, though, could pick up closer to about eight inches of snow. To recap for your 10-day tracker, we're going to warm things up a little bit tomorrow, but it's going to be brief. Back in the upper 40s and 50s for your Thursday, windy, showers looking likely, and then frigid for your Friday morning. Back in the upper 20s, and that's for the warm spots. For the next 10 days, though, we're going to start to warm things up close to 70 by next Thursday, so temperatures will gradually warm above normal towards the end of next work week.